Greetings everyone. My name is Dr. Anadi Joshi. I'm a junior resident, Department of Radiology from MGM Medical College, Navi Mumbai. The topic for my paper is CT evaluation of the variant branches arising from the aortic arch. So there are multiple branch variants of the aortic arch, which are formed due to abnormal formation of the first, second, and third arch vessels. These variants are usually seen as incidental findings in scans, which are done for other complaints. Cross-sectional studies are one of the few modalities which are relatively more accessible and can be used for evaluation of these branch variants. The aim and objective of my study is to see and identify the different branch variants of the aortic arch. Materials and methods. So this is a retrospective study which was done in MGM Hospital, Nami Mumbai, over a period of two months from 28th January uh, to 20th March 2024. A total of 22 cases were included in the study. All contrast and CT studies were performed on a 128 size Fujifilm CT machine. All the patients who had undergone Contrast and CT studies with visualization of the aortic arch and showed a variant branch of the aortic arch were included in the study. So, the first case that we see is the aortic origin of the left vertebral artery, uh, which shows the left vertebral artery marked in yellow arising from between uh, the left common character artery and the left subclavian artery. Second case is that of bovine arch, in which we see a common origin of the brachiocephalic trunk and the left common character artery. The third case that we see here is the aberrant origin of the right subclavian artery, marked in yellow, in which we see the right subclavian artery arising from the distal aspect of the aortic arch, and we see the right vertebral artery arising from the aberrant right subclavian artery in the coronal section. So, uh, we had an interesting case in which all marked in yellow. Uh, on the left side, uh, we see a common origin of bilateral common character arteries. Uh, on the top right, we see aortic origin of the left vertebral artery. And uh, in the bottom right, we saw aberrant origin of the right subclavian artery, all three in the same patient. So, out of a total of 22 cases, 14 cases were that of aortic origin of the left vertebral artery, 5 were that of bovine arch, 2 were that of an aberrant right subclavian artery, and 1 was common origin of bilateral common character artery. So, in conclusion, uh, the most common branch variant in the study population was the aortic origin of the left vertebral artery, followed by bovine arch followed by the variant origin of the right subclavian artery. Contrast and then CT scan remains the most accessible modality for analysis of the aortic arts and its branch variants. Uh, variant branches of the aortic arch should be preferably identified prior to procedures such as cerebral DSA as they can guide the neurointerventionist towards an easier access to the vessels. Um, the thyroidia ema artery is another common branch variant that can arise from the aortic arch, supplying both the trachea and the thyroid gland. This vessel needs to be reported in cases of head and neck surgeries, especially thyroidectomy. These were the references for my study. Thank you.